in an exceedingly windy section of the North Sea, in deep water, 85 kilometers off the coast of Groningen, the Netherlands, lies the Gemini offshore wind park. This wind park's massive array of structures, engineered, procured, and constructed by Van Oort between 2014 and 2016, produces 600 megawatts, and that makes it one of the largest offshore wind parks in the world. Van Oort was chosen as the EPC contractor as a result of our 10 years of extensive experience in the offshore wind industry. Our continuous commitment to sustainable energy encouraged us to build specialized vessels. And we even became a project shareholder in the Gemini Offshore Wind Park. For this work, the scope consists of two offshore high-voltage stations, 150 turbine foundations, 150 4-megawatt wind turbines, 450 kilometers of infield and export cable, and one land high voltage station. The construction phase began in 2014 with the fabrication of the turbine foundations. Van Oort supervised the manufacture of the 150 enormous steel piles, which vary in length due to the sloping nature of the seabed. Each monopile is constructed for its specific location in the park. When ready, they are shipped to Eemshaven. The MPs and TPs were engineered by Van Oort specialists based on their vast technical experience and lessons learned in the field. In the meantime, the two offshore high voltage stations, or OHVSs, are built. To support the two OHVSs, immense jacket structures are manufactured. These jackets are nearly 60 meters high and weigh more than 1,500 tons each. Under the supervision of Van Oort's engineering experts, construction teams work together within rigorous safety protocols to avoid accidents during the project. At the same time, at the Gemini Field, Van Oort's flexible fallpipe vessel Nordness is preparing the seabed by installing scour protection at every turbine location. For each monopile, 2,300 tons of rock material are deposited to prevent erosion. Simultaneously, the installation of two export cables to connect the offshore wind park to the land high voltage station starts in the shallow water tidal flats of the Ames. The mud flats are protected as part of the Natura 2000 network. They are exposed just twice daily during low tide and are characterized by weak soil and deep gullies. Therefore, an ingenious installation method was conceived that minimizes the impact on the environment. This method consists of a combination of beachable barges, land cable installation vehicles, and the longest floating cable run of two and one half kilometers installed in a single continuing operation. After installation, the export cables are buried beneath the seabed using a proven, environmentally friendly trenching methodology. The last part of the shallow water cable installation takes place by pulling the cable underneath two previously installed cables. With the use of two jack-up barges, one of them being Van Oort's Wave Walker, Two cable ducts of 550 meters are installed by horizontal directional drilling. Once the shallow water area is cleared, Van Oort's cable laying vessel Nexus takes over and installs the cables further out to the two offshore high voltage stations. With a workability in wave heights up to two and one half meters and its highly precise installation accuracy, the Nexus has exceeded its already high expectations. 
At Amershaven, the heavy foundations are loaded onto the installation vessel Aeolus using its own 900-ton offshore crane. The deck of the Aeolus was custom outfitted to carry three complete units to the field at one time. The Aeolus is a good example of how Van Ord has created innovative solutions through in-house development and engineering of installation equipment and methods. After jacking up, the installation vessel is ready to install the foundations. We have also developed unique handling tools, such as the gripper on the Aeolus for the ultra-precise placement of the MPs into the seabed. A new product developed by Van Ord's environmental engineers is the Fauna Guard. This acoustical device safely and temporarily deters various marine fauna species using specialized underwater acoustics. Van Ord always aims for the highest possible degree of accuracy, reliability and high workability at sea. All the equipment must be geared to that goal so that we achieve the finest installation possible. Once hammered down to the specified depth, the MP is ready to receive the TP. During these MP and TP installations, the two OHVS support jackets are placed. On top, the OHVSs themselves are installed. These structures each connect to 75 wind turbines. The 150 connecting cables are installed by Van Ord's vessel Nexus. This cable laying vessel has a customized deck layout that was developed in-house based on the experience of previous projects and the most up-to-date technical advancements. With its 5,000-ton carousel, the Nexus can carry up to 40 kilometers of infield cable at a time. The laying crew on board carefully controls the cable slack to manage fluctuations and unevenness of the seabed. To protect the cables, they are buried under the seabed by a trenching tool connected to the vessel Jan Steen. In the final stages of the project, the deck of the Aeolus is refitted for the transport of six wind turbines at a time. Each consisting of a tower, a nacelle and three blades. These operations require highly trained personnel implementing a wealth of safety guidelines that Van Ord has developed to ensure proper workflow with zero injuries. At the peak of construction activities for the Gemini project, there were 800 people actively engaged. Several diverse teams were selected and assembled for each of the numerous engineering, procurement and construction phases, making optimal use of skilled personnel. Team leaders are tasked with establishing communication, conveying a thorough understanding of the chosen work methods, and creating an environment where people can reach their full potential all the while maintaining the highest personal safety standards. The roles that are fulfilled by members of the younger generation within our company are of great importance to Van Orr. Their enthusiasm and dedication will sustain the future of our continuing mission to clients and our planet. The successful completion of the Gemini Offshore Wind Park in 2017 will contribute to reducing CO2 emissions over the course of several decades. 
meaningful progress in the renewable energy sector represents our greatest hope in reversing harmful climate trends. By combining its many years of offshore experience with state-of-the-art equipment and a never-ending commitment to excellence and innovation, delivering on time and within budget, Vanord looks forward to an expanding role in helping to meet the growing challenges of tomorrow's ever-changing energy supply needs.